hey guys what's up and welcome to icode and guys really sorry for the delay in this video series there has been a clash with one of my schedules so i had to delay this and uh, i really promise this will never happen again and guys really thanks for those who are actually showing interest towards icode and i really appreciate that really thanks so with that being said let's move on so guys if you have watched my last video I have explained you how to install Kali Linux using VirtualBox. So in this video, I am going to be giving you an overview of this Kali Linux operating system so that you could get familiar in using Kali Linux. So let's get started. Open up VirtualBox. So open up VirtualBox so that you could have access to all the virtual machines that you have installed on this VirtualBox. So as you can see here, the Kali Linux virtual machine is installed on your VirtualBox. So Tap on this start button so to start your Kali Linux. So I just tapped. So wait for it to open. Type in the username. The username is root R O O T and the password is T O O R reverse of root. So sign in. There you go. Guys, this is the operating system that we're going to use for all the attacks that we're going to perform in the later videos. Okay. So let me just give you an overview of this Kali Linux operating system so that you could get familiar in using this Kali Linux operating system. Okay, so let's go. Okay, let me just make this full screen so that it looks good. So now that it's in full screen mode, let me just start with the status bar on top. Okay, this is the status bar on top where you can see this applications, places, day, time, number of workspaces, network settings, sound settings, battery settings, and etc. Okay, so on the status bar, you can see the day and the time. Well, for me, it's Saturday and the time is 7.22 p.m. Okay, and guys, you can have access to all the applications that have come pre-installed with this Kali Linux by tapping on this applications menu. So tap on this application menu, and here you can have access to all the different kinds of applications that are used for penetration testing. Right here, you can see there are applications for information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, database assessment, password attacks, wireless attacks, there are many. And guys, in this course, we are not going to use all these applications, but we're going to use a few of these applications. Okay. So this is about this applications menu. These are all the applications that have come pre-installed with Kali. Okay. Got it. Fine. And guys, this particular places give access to your file system in this Kali Linux. So let me just tap on this places menu. And here you can have access to home, desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos and computer. Okay, let me just select this home. We are going to use this home a lot. So here you can have access to desktop, documents, downloads, music and etc. Okay, fine. Suppose that you want to open a directory, what you need to do is just double tap on this just like in windows that's it okay let me just close this and done and guys now let's talk about workspaces which are actually very useful okay so linux actually allows you to work with different workspaces at a time okay let me just show you what is a workspace and how it is useful you see this number one on top just tap on this right now we are using this particular workspace that is workspace one now Say that you have opened terminal application in workspace one. Okay. You're working with terminal in this particular workspace one. Now let's go to workspace two. And now you can see that this particular workspace two is completely empty. This is not the workspace that we have been working on before a couple of seconds. This is a whole different one. Now say that in this particular workspace two, we have opened this Firefox application. Okay. Let me just open Firefox in this workspace two. And here, you can see that we have got a third workspace right here. And if you tap on this particular workspace three, and again, you will have a different workspace to work on. And this is how workspaces are really useful in this Linux operating systems. You got it? Fine. Okay, let me just close all the workspaces. And now you can see that we have only one workspace that we are working on again. So that is all about workspaces. Great. It's very useful. Now here you can see the network settings right here. 
and the sound settings if you tap on this you can actually change the sound for this particular Kali Linux operating system and the brightness and the battery settings and that's it and here you can actually lock your system power off your system and also you can have access to the preferences so tap on this preferences so that you could see all the settings for this Kali Linux for example the mouse and the touchpad keyboard displays color Bluetooth and etc even the background so that is all about this particular status bar on top you got it okay now guys if you want to have access to any of the application directly you can actually tap on this particular show applications button right here and right here you can search for that particular application so right here you can type in Firefox and in this manner you can have access to any application in this Kali Linux so just tap on this Firefox and this particular Firefox will be open that's it so this is one way to access the application or open any application so that is it and guys now let me just tell you something very important okay this particular Kali Linux operating system is actually using the internet provided by your host machine got it okay let me just show you my Mac OS X is actually connected to some Wi-Fi and this is how my Mac OS X is having access to the internet and this particular internet is actually being used by this particular Kali Linux operating system through this wired connection right here got it fine okay let me just see if I have internet connection okay let me just open Firefox application in Kali Linux so let me just type in google.com google.com enter and there you see I have access to internet and this particular internet is actually provided by my host machine okay through this wired network right here okay everything is fine till now but I have a question what if you want to connect to a Wi-Fi network from your Kali Linux machine and guys one thing you can't actually use the Wi-Fi adapter that has come with your laptop inbuilt you can't really use that to connect to a Wi-Fi network from this Kali Linux machine so what to do guys you need to buy a Wi-Fi adapter so that you can connect to a Wi-Fi network from your Kali Linux machine and even when you're actually attacking wireless networks you need to have a Wi-Fi adapter and that's compulsory so you need to buy one and guys if you're confused which one to buy I've stated some of the models in the description just trust me and buy any of those three and it will work I've been using them for years so I trust them so if you have one you're ready for the wireless attacks okay now let me just show you how this Wi-Fi adapter works but first off let me just show you something tap on this devices menu just go to USB and here you can see all the USB devices that are connected to your host machine there's only one listed right here okay now let me just plug in my Wi-Fi adapter right now I'm using TP link Wi-Fi adapter okay okay let me just plug it in okay I just plugged it in and now let me just go to devices menu again so devices and now you can see that there's one more that's listed right here my Wi-Fi adapter is actually using Atheros chipset so this is my Wi-Fi adapter so just select this so select it and now if you actually tap on this network settings menu you can see that now you can connect to any of the Wi-Fi networks from this Kali Linux machine using your Wi-Fi adapter and that is how you can actually connect to a Wi-Fi network from your Kali Linux machine you need to have a Wi-Fi adapter guys so buy one okay because we're gonna do all the wireless attacks using this Wi-Fi adapter and that's compulsory okay fine so that's it guys that's it for this video this is all about Kali Linux if you have any doubt in any part of this video just comment down below and I'll respond to you as fast as I can so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with another awesome ethical hacking video goodbye